Hi Stitchers! Um, today is January 3rd, 2016, New Year. Um, I debated upon whether or not to make a video today because I've been fighting this cold for about a week and a half. Just got it right after Christmas. And I look horrendous. <laughs> I sound horrendous. Um, the other day I got cold sores on my mouth. I have no makeup on. So this is... Um, this stitcher <laughs> in a natural, I guess, down to the bare bones. Um, I thought I'd talk a little bit about some of my purchases that I made in the last two weeks. I really haven't done anything other than staying home and just trying to get better. I did stay at my daughter's for a few days, and um, <sighs> Well, there's been a lot of sick students at school with colds and flu and stuff, so I could have picked it up from there. Because um, I know this sounds disgusting, but if you ever work with middle school kids or elementary kids, um, they tend not to use Kleenexes or they don't cover their mouth. I mean, they wipe their nose on their hands, their arm sleeves. Um, so I keep a bottle of Kleenex on my desk with a bottle of Germex, and then I try to Lysol everything down all the time to keep from getting sick. But my daughter keeps her house a little cooler than what I'm used to, so I don't know if I just got something there, whether it was germinating prior to that, I don't know. But tomorrow my holiday ends and going back to work, and um, it's the two weeks went by fast, what can I say? But I hope everyone enjoyed their, their little break with Christmas and enjoyed the time with their family. I know I sure did, and I hated to leave because Excuse me, I know that it'll be a while before I see them again. So I'm going to talk a little bit about, I went to the Nordic Needle um, on Monday before I left town. And as some of you know, Nordic Needle has switched hands. And um, it's not the same store that it used to be. Um, and I don't know if it's just cutbacks or what. Um, Nordic Needle, I mean, for a catalog that goes international, um, the store is very small, and a lot of what they order, or what you order, they have to order in order to get it. Um, they probably have about 10 bolts of fabric there. Um, they do have a lot of patterns. Um, and floss, they have all kinds of floss, but they don't have it in large quantities. Um, I, want, I looked at some of the Gloriana, and um, mostly all of them, they just had three colors, of, or three skeins of each color. Um, so, um, if you do samplers like me, that isn't enough, but, um, but I looked through the store, and then Nordic Needle used to um, give away bags that they would put their fabric in. Um, they were paper bags, but it almost looked like um, wrapping paper. I mean, it was such beautiful designs, you could use it as wrapping paper. Um, now you get a clear plastic shopping bag, <laughs> which I was rather disappointed. <laughs> but it just makes me chuckle. <laughs> and um, they did have, they used to have in the back room, they used to have a sale room. Um, they did have a trunk show. It was for, I think, my big toe designs in the back, and I happened not to get back there. Um, there were people working back there, and so I looked back there, and it looked like they were having a meeting, so I didn't go back there. Um, but they moved their sale table up front, and I did pick up an ink circle design they had on their sale table. Um, I think it was Mandy that stitched this. It was two ninety nine. I thought that was really a good deal. Um, and the colors they use sampler thread, tropical ocean, island blue, and piney woods. I think that'd be really pretty. Um, for some of you Nora Corbett fans, they did have three patterns on the table, and this was not quite a week ago, but um, the pattern Caprice, and that was, I think, $4.99. So if that's something you're interested, you could contact the store and they would ship it to you. 
Um, I looked at, um, or I needed some fabric for Fairy Idol. And I did pick up some Amethyst um, water lilies. And I have it with this. And I keep it changing. And this is more like a camouflage. This is um, Java. Oh, I think I've shown this before. Sorry. But it's like an olive green and a pink and maybe a little bit of brown and a lighter olive. And, like I said, I've been trying to decide. I have some Stephanie's Thornhaven. And I did it on the viewer, and I thought it looked good. But, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to do it or not. I have other projects that I need to finish. and So I know this is a year of starts, and I've had so much fun looking at everybody else's starts. But I just have to really concentrate on getting things done and framed and, and stuff before I even um, attempt to purchase anything else. Because I have so many charts, it's really, really a shame on how much stuff I have. I could probably open my own store. Um, I did purchase a PDF, um, my first Heaven and Earth design. Um, the blue dragon, the one that Carolyn stitched. Uh, I just thought it was so beautiful. Um, my dilemma is whether, I know she did hers on 18 count, 2 over 1 on Ada. But my dilemma is, do I do it on 18 count with 2 threads or 25 count with 1 thread? Um, I watched her parking video, and she makes it look seem so easy, but I can just see a big tangled mess of threads that I would have. So, and I'm thinking if I do one thread, maybe it won't be quite as bad. I don't know. So I could use your thoughts on that and what's worked for you. Uh, I did pick up a couple other things at the Nordy Needle. I saw these, it's by Foxwood Crossings, and this is Snowy Country, and they're little Christmas ornaments on sled, and it's stitched on perforated paper, and I thought they'd be really cute little Christmas gifts, something that wouldn't take much time at all. And then I got, well, they had several of them there. Not a whole lot, but they had several. And this one is called so Salt Box Sleds. I thought that would, they were really cute. And then here is the little sled that goes with them. And then you just attach the, the perforated paper onto this. Um, I did see had a couple of these other ones too. I didn't purchase the bigger sled, um, but I got this one called RFD Sledding, and this one stitches it's 31 by 75 count. It almost it's got some shine here. It almost reminds me kind of a like a prairie schooler pattern. And you can also either put it on the sled on perforated paper. Focus. Or you can make a cross stitch picture out of it. So here they have it. There's a little sled. And above here is the cross stitch picture. I thought that was really cute. So, of course, I was there at Christmas, and I was thinking more about Christmas. Now that Christmas is over, am I in the mood to stitch Christmas? No. <laughs> um, so that is really 
um, my purchases from Nordic Needle. I didn't spend a whole lot of money there. Um, and then I did on eBay or Amazon, one of them. I purchased, let me grab this here, sorry. Um, years ago, I had given my daughter a cross-stitch tree skirt. And I think I still have a pattern somewhere, but it was on um, opalescent, like ivory, but it was the round tree skirt. And I gave it to her and I told her if she stitched it, she could have it. But my daughter is a one project, one at a time, finish it till it's done kind of person. But I saw this online and um, this is, uh, how do you pronounce it, Waisaki Holidays by Dimensions. And I just love his stuff. Let's see, is there a copyright date here? I probably should have looked beforehand, huh? I don't. It can't be 1960. Oh, 19, 1990. So it's 25 years old. But I love this old-fashioned Victorian um, tree skirt. Um, oh, sorry. That's my phone again. Good grief. Um, the only thing I don't care for um, is that the pattern is colored. And sometimes that's a little bit harder on my eyes. Um, if you can see a little bit here, it's mainly green and red. Um, and there's quite a few DMC colors that go with it. But the tree skirt is on Ada 11, and it's 50 by 50. Uh, I notice that most width of Ada is 43 inches, and some you can find is 60. Now, I check Nordic Needle, but they charge 92 cents an inch. But I think theirs was only 43 inches across. And I know that there is a lady that you can buy um, large pieces of Ada for a reasonable price, and I can't find her name. So if any one of you know um, what her name is or how I can contact her. Uh, but yeah, the piece would be 50 by 50, and it's quite large. Um, it shows you how to finish the tree skirt here and make a slit and all that. I'm not a sewer, so I would have to have someone do it for me. So those are my purchases. Now for my stitching. I did get some stitching done. Um, <clears throat> probably, you know, you think, oh, I have two weeks off. You know, I'm going to get a lot of stuff done. Well, then it's the holidays and time just goes. Um, I did work on this this morning, excuse me, but I didn't, um, but I didn't get very far, excuse me, I just did just a little bit down here and maybe a little bit up at the, t excuse me, now I got the hiccups, good grief. Here's my needle minder. Um, I see all these cute needle minders, but I only have a need for one. I mean, one can only use one at a time, right? I have this little cross. And I really like these ones because they really have a strong, strong magnet. But, and so hopefully I'd like to finish this um, by next year. Um, <clears throat> and then I worked on um, Cinderella. I just got really frustrated with her. Um, is that better? But I did 
Oh, this little bit down here. Um, and if you can see, and I've stitched Cinderella ones before, but hopefully I'll get to that too. This is why I have so much to stitch. This is why I cannot buy anything more. I know it's easier said than done, and sometimes I think if I just get off of Facebook, I see all these patterns that I keep adding to my wish list. And I have so many whips right now, I just really need to concentrate and get them done. Um, I did stitch a little bit on my granddaughter's piece, very little. I stitched the F, and this little thing down here, on top of a flower or something, and I'm not sure if I had stitched this last time. Last time I showed a video or not. It's moving kind of slow. And then, oh yeah, my French alphabet sampler. <clears throat> um, let's see, maybe we get a little bit better this way. I finished the A on this. And I think that's about all that I did. Um, you know, it looks like, it, I mean, it's on 36 counts, so actually you can travel your thread a little farther, I think, you know, than the bigger counts. But actually, it's a lot of tying off and a lot of just pieces, you know, that either you have to run it through underneath to get to the next spot, or I'm one that likes my backs neat. I don't know, it's just an obsession with mine. And so I'm continuously, sorry, tying, tying my threads off. They're trying to, I know no one ever sees the back, but I always, I always worry about stuff, dumb stuff like that. <gasps> so, here's the fringe album and sample. And probably the one piece that I worked on the most is my namesake pattern. And that's the one I'm anxious to get done. In fact, I'd like to give another friend of mine one, too. Whether I can stitch two in one year, I don't know. But I did work on this quite a bit through Christmas. And working on even weave, too, I think, is a little, a little easier. But... I finished up this little wreath. I've stitched the end, and of course, you know, I've had to restitch every single letter so far, and found a mistake in the end. I didn't have to rip it all out, but I had to rip out a majority of it, so I restitched that for the second time, and then I stitched the O. So, I'm loving this piece. I just think it's so beautiful. And that's all <clears throat> that I've been stitching on for the last two weeks. Um, sometimes I think when I make a video, if I make one every week, I just don't really have the progress. I might go every two weeks, um, or maybe once a month like many of you. Um, we'll have to see. And I really don't, I'm going to try not to purchase haul. Um, if I do, it'll be for the patterns that I already have. Um, and I had been knitting, too. I know some of you are knitters, but some of you are. And um, I have been working on, um, and here's, this is a Leisure Arts pattern. If you can see it. I don't know, it seems awfully light in here today. Good grief. This is the this is the pattern, baby blanket. And I think I showed it earlier in one of my videos.
sorry for the paper rustling, but this is what I have so far. And it's one of those knitting patterns that you have to keep track of every row, so it'll be just because of these things. But I think it's really pretty pink, darker gray, light pink, and medium gray. It's really a soft little paper. So I've been working on that. You know, and I think I just have a hard time. You know, I have so many things to work on, and I have a hard time dividing my time. Because some nights I just feel like knitting, or to get a project done, I should just be working on one project and just trying to get as far along as I can. Um, my other one, and this is related to cross stitch, I think I've shown you, um, but this is the Afghan, Afghan stitch, if you can see on it where it has the weave. Um, this is the second panel, there's four of them, and it takes me, oh gosh, probably even a whole night just to, just to stitch ten rows, and there's 340 in each panel, and I have two more panels, there's four panels, and I have two more panels after this one to go. Um, and this is a Bernay, or some people pronounce it Bernat, um, book. It's an old, old book. I've made this Afghan before. I think I need to download iMovies so I can insert pictures and stuff. I should have probably done that. Um, but I will show you a picture of what the afghan looks like. Um, this, I, like I said, made it before, and then I usually put a quilting back on it. But this is, this is the afghan pattern. And then you stitch hearts and flowers on it. I just absolutely love it. First time I did it was in the country blues and burgundies and all uh, that, and that was really beautiful, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to stitch it this time with. So, that is that. Um, thank you for <laughs> watching the, the videos, and, and it's been a great year. Um, thank you for all your love and support. Um, it really means a lot to me. It, I feel like, you know, my stitching has, sometimes you stitch things and you don't always feel like it's appreciated or you feel like you don't get very far and it gets frustrating and you see all these people with all these finishes and here I am with my big projects, you know, trying to keep keep up and and I know that just stitching should just be enjoyable and not not feeling pressured, but I feel thankful for all your, your love and support uh, in this journey with me. So um, I'm going to sign off. Have a great week and we'll see you soon.